How is a grid bot different from a DCA bot? Well, we learned in the last section that DCA bots thrive with trends. As long as there is an established trend, DCA bots will thrive, whether that trend is up or down. Grid bots, however, really need that horizontal price action to be profitable. If the price continually goes up out of that fixed range, the grid bot won't be working. It won't be as profitable. So you have to think about that. So again, a big distinction is that when there is a trend, use DCA bots. When there is no trend, use grid bots. DCA bots take advantage of dollar cost averaging to average down your buy price and the take profit price in a long bot scenario. Grid bots don't do it that way. Grid bots use fixed ranges to continually buy and sell, buy and sell, kind of like a pong game or like ping pong, ping pong, 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 going back and forth. So you're not actually buying more as the price falls. You're just buying, 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 buying. And when it returns, you're selling, 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 selling what you previously bought. That's a big difference between DCA bots and grid bots. Another thing that sets grid bots and DCA bots apart are the deal start conditions. Grid bots don't have a deal start condition. They just start and they keep running. Essentially, there are all of these fixed orders that are used basically by laying down limit orders. So it's just waiting, 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 waiting. It's more similar to smart trade, whereas DCA bots use deal start conditions. And whether that deal start condition is as soon as possible, or it's waiting for a signal from the marketplace like the TBT signals, or even your own custom trading view indicator, it still needs to be told when to open up a deal. And it's not gonna run necessarily all the time unless it's ASAP. So that's another big distinction between the two. Finally, the last one may not sound like an amazing thing, but think about it. Grid bots will always use limit orders, but DCA bots can use either limit or market orders. And again, this is not like earth shattering amazing, but think about it this way. Grid bots have to have their orders placed on the order book. Therefore, your orders are visible to everyone else. That means you're going to have to think about volume and sizing. You want to make sure that your orders are not going to be a wall in the order book, that people will not cut in line because your orders are too big. So keep that in mind. So these are the main distinctions that I make between DCA bots and grid bots, and they're things to keep in mind as we progress through this step.